people, I had to get started. You know when you get old, your battery needs charge, 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 so you have to get a boost from the Holy Ghost. I am Pastor Dr. Silly Acting Wheeler. Our pastor, the former Como City, the full gospel Christian church at 5901. Dr. Martin Luther King at home Avenue, three blocks from North of Pearson Road, where you are always welcome. We're on the web now, www.drwheelerfullgospel.com. You can email us. You can call us at the church, 785-9851. Call me on my cell phone, 810-423-2433. You look at us on Facebook. You can get us on YouTube. You can get us on WFLT Radio, 1420 AM. You can... Get us on channel 17, our television ministries, Saturday at 7 p.m., Sunday at 8 a.m., Monday at 10 a.m., Wednesday at Wednesday at 9 p.m. through 11 p.m., Thursday at 12.30 p.m., and Saturday again at 7 p.m. We pass through the full gospel. Let that soak in. Christian Church. 5901, Dr. Martin Luther King at home Avenue, three blocks from North of Pearson Road, where you are always welcome. Just like you is. You ain't got to get right to come here. Amen. We got some people here that are right to live right before you, that you have a picture of right, and then you choose. I'm Wheeler. Some call me old man wheeler. Then some call me some things I can't say on TV. Glory to God. Father, we love you. We happy tonight. Thank God for Jesus. We don't ask the question, what we would do without you wouldn't do nothing. We'd be dead. You're a good God. And you ain't just got good neither. When we wasn't no good, you was good. And the good we have now belong to you. You are our good. You are the everything. You're the water we drink, the air we breathe, and the subject of our love. You are our baptism. You are sanctification. You are a friend. You are a healer. You are a doctor. You are a friend. That's the closer. Closer than a brother. We want the world to know. We're not here just making a show. I said, we want the world to know we're not here just making a show. We're here because we've been shown how good God is. And we don't mind being simple because ain't no smart folks in heaven, just saved folks. Bless your name, Father. Bless the name of your Son. Bless your Holy Spirit. Bless your church everywhere. It contains the voice of Almighty God. Yea, Lord. We worship you. We adore you. We bow down before you. We're not ashamed to be called the children of Almighty God. We're not afraid to tell people I'm on my way to heaven and I'm enjoying the trip. Yea, my come on, set to her. Glory to God, for he is good, and that my soul know right well. We love you today like we did yesterday, but a little bit more because we learn a little bit more about you. You are worthy of our love, of our praise, of our worship, of our adoration, of our service. You are worthy to be called our Father. We know that you're in heaven, so heaven must be in our hearts because that's where you abide. We praise you. We adore you. We bow down before you. We lift up holy hands to Almighty God. We're sure glad you're there. But me more glad that you're here, taking up residence in our hearts, making our hearts your church on earth. We praise you. Nothing is too big for you. Save, heal, and deliver. Do it for your glory. 
Remember Brother Troy tonight. Remember him. Remember him. Your will be done as far as his life is concerned. Thank you, Father. Let him know I can trust God to get me up out of here. Home to my Father. <laughs> hey, we praise you today. And we love you. Think on us now. We're in a position to receive your thought. Because you're in a position to receive our prayers. Bless now. Do it for your glory. We're not worthy. Only by the mercy of the grace of God we are what we are and we thank you. We don't boast ourselves. Boast ourselves in you. You are a friend that stick closer than a brother no matter what. You're a good God. And you are here and there. We bless you for that, Lord. Give us something to teach now that your name might be glorified, the soul of man might be edified, and the soul of man might be saved. We are here to take care of your business. The soul of man is the only business you in. Help us to be in business with you now. Do it in Jesus' name, and we thank you for it. Amen. Amen. We're going to teach a subject you never heard before. The love of God. Y'all heard it before? Let's start at 1 John 4, and let's just let God have his way. Our subject is the love of God. Now we're going to run across some scriptures here that's going to tell us about this love, this love of God. You know, ain't nobody like God but the church. Did you know that song is true? Everybody talk about heaven ain't going there. Heaven, heaven. Then there are some people that say there ain't no heaven. Now that voice came out of the other place, hell. Mm -hmm. If there is no heaven, how come I'm so happy inside? And before this heaven came into me, how come I had so much trouble inside? There is a hell, and there's a hidden. Y'all know what hidden is? Both of them start with a H. Don't get them confused. One is cool, the other one ain't cool. 1 John 4, our subject is the love of God. You, you, you can read that backwards. The God of love. Hmm? Or you can leave the of God off and just say love, and the saints everywhere will know exactly who you're talking about. 1 John 4 and 1, our subject is the love of God. Beloved, believe not in the spirit, but try the spirit, whether they be of God. Now, how do you try the spirit? Listen to me and learn. You try the spirit by the spirit, and this book is spirit. If it says something not written, you, you know you just heard from a demon. I don't care how many goose books he put on the back of your neck. Amen. God ain't going to count no bumps when he get to heaven. But you're going to have to go a whole lot of bumps to get there. There's a lot of bumps between him and them golden gates. You hear me? We had a good time here Tuesday and the devil whap. <laughs> I'm used to it. I've been whapped and whapped. My whap got whaps. I know that when you have a good time in God, it's that devil's business to pour cold, cold water on it. But you can't cool all the anointing. The anointing is so hot, it turns water to steam. 
and it just vapors. When I left here, I was walking on cloud. I saw all the confusion. It's supposed to be confusion when you keep on telling folk, you know God is a, what? You, you, what you, you think you, you just started a fight. But you know I'm 77 years old. The devil ain't ever won that fight. Amen. Huh? Amen. I can be up my, up my chin in this battle, and all I have to do is raise my hand, and God will fight for me. Right. Am I talking about the same y'all God y'all got? God will fight your battle for you. Say amen, somebody. Now, 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 look what I said. God will fight your battle for you. So you ain't supposed to have but one battle at a time. And the only battle you really got is keeping yourself in the center of the will of God in spite of. Brother, if I didn't have the Holy Ghost, I wouldn't be here now. You need to say me neither. The Holy Ghost is a keeper. Now we take that lightly. We need to be kept in the center of the road. How come? It's a narrow road. You turn left and right, you just fell off. So though we got, we got the salvation in our heart and Jesus on our mind, you still need the Holy Ghost to keep you in the middle of the will of God. How come? There's so many things that mentally buffered us all day long. Concerns of others. Concerns of the children, the husband, the wife, the backsliders. The saints will give you concerns too. Mm. Let me tell you something. I got Hey, do you, I'm going to teach you, but let me tell you something. You need to go, you need to know where to go when people attack your everything. Now, when they attack you, they don't care nothing about you. They want your salvation. Are y'all listening to me? That's what the devil wants. He don't care about your joy. Heck, he wants your soul. He only got one way to get it. S I N. So send him back to hell. Amen. When you talk like this, that devil don't like. He's frustrated. He wants us to get against one another. Not me. No, sir. I come out. I come way out. I'm all the way out. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm red and comfortable in G. I know where my resting place is. It's not in this book. It's in the author of this book. Jesus is my resting place. Did you know I got attacked in my office while y'all was in here praying Sunday morning. I come up here drunker than a skunk. Had drunk nothing but water. I'm telling you so you'll know when you come out and attack, you know what to do. When I opened my Bible, this whole page was just black. I didn't see no letters. I don't need to see letters to teach love. Are you listening to me? Because it's love that gave me the letters that remind me. Now, if you understand, I wrote this book. I am this book. Don't praise the book. Praise the author. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. You, you better. This is serious. Listen to me. The devil had picked up his pace, church. How come he's frustrated? I just had a vision. Here's the end of a cliff. And the gospel, they're pushing that devil off of that cliff and making skid marks and, and can't stop. You know he's frustrated. Put your hands in there. Come on. Fall, you devil. Fall, you devil. Fall, you devil. Fall, you devil. 
in the hell. In the name of Jesus. Glory. Glory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, I just heard from God. It's war time. Now, how do you win in war time? You change war time to praise time. Now, y'all didn't get that. God ain't going to do nothing for you before you praise him. Now, you got heard of my feet out of my whole Lord, I thank you. You can say it, but you can be quiet and let God listen to your heart. He can hear your heart, you know. And what you say with your mouth is just an echo of what your heart said prior to your lips. It's the same way with the devil business. So you got to watch this. You ain't got to tell that person I curse you. You look at him. You just sin. You just, listen. I know because I, I got rebuked a thousand times for that. See, I confess my stuff. You hide your way. If it ain't right, what is it? Wrong. And God will not let wrong into the kingdom. Now, 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 we're not fighting the devil. He's our enemy. But we're not in this battle. He's been the Fimi Como Sata. Huh? What do you think Jesus went to hell for? He took the keys of life and death from the devil. Yes, sir. And he gave it to the church. And the key is J-E-S-U-S. Period. Not, not that you're about him. Him. He is the key. He is the life. And beside him, we don't got, we don't. I'm going to teach you, but let me, you, we need to get basic about this Bible thing. This is a letter from heaven to every soul on earth. The soul that believe that the Lord Jesus is the word of God is one step towards salvation. I, I, I ain't smart, so I have visions and stuff, you know. Here's the heart of a man. There's the anointing. It ain't going to do you no good. You have to take your will and open up your, you have to let God come in. He can't do you no good on the outside. He wants your heart to be, listen to it, his resting place. See, when you allow God to come in your heart, the battle is over. You didn't win it. He won it for you. Now, God don't come into your heart to help you fight. I said, Lord Jesus don't come into your heart to help you fight. When he come in your heart, the battle is over. It's time to praise him now. Are y'all listening to me? We fight too much. We got one enemy. Now, there's a whole bunch of us in here, which means we're not one another's enemy. Amen. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Now, there ain't no enemy in this building here because I'm in here. I said, devil don't have no place in this building. Okay. Say amen. amen. And I said, the devil don't have no place in this building. Amen. You got to point to your own body. Amen. Say amen, somebody. Amen. I am oh, come on. Ah. That, that devil hate us. Amen. Preach till I couldn't preach no more last Tuesday. Close the book and come under attack. Pow! I said, oh, I hit you, didn't I? <laughs> the devil don't attack you for nothing. Right. You had said something Counsel somebody, say the prayer, sung a song, step on his foot. He's supposed to hit you. Thank you. 
but he ain't won a battle yet. Do you know that, that devil is a loser, but he's still a battler. He's a warrior, but he's a defeated warrior. But he don't act like it. So you got to know that you know. You got to know. You got to know that you know that you know you are born again. That battle is over. What do you think the purpose of the new birth is? Defeat that devil in your life. That, I don't care what it looked like. So your car notice do. You can't ride to heaven on an electric or a Cadillac or a Buick. Last time I looked, that's a land, that's a land tribal thing. God going to come and get us up out of here. Amen. Amen. We got to focus. My subject is the love of God. We got to learn how to focus. Now, a whole lot of things is worthy to be looked at. But when devil come, you got to bring your vision in. Put it on nothing but the word. I don't care how he beat out here. I don't care how he talked to your ear. I don't care what folk try to do to you. If you focus on nobody but Jesus, you win. Yes, sir. I don't care what your financial state is. I don't care if your car won't run, your house just burnt down, your baby just backslid. Keep your eyes. Listen to me. Not on the crown. The king. I know some of these songs just ain't right, man. Cast your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of this world will go strangely them in the light of his glory and grace. You, you need to sing some, man. Ah! Sometime I come here late at night and pray to lead at the open. I don't tell you do that. Did you know you ain't where I am? Are you listening to me? I try that devil so I can tell you he can't touch you. Now this ghetto got two double ghettos to it. Somebody wrote a song, but I believe there's a God somewhere. Now, now, you need to know where that somewhere is. Because there's a whole lot of where's. I really do believe there's a God here in my heart. Did you know God can be in your mind first? Now, ain't no such thing as something being on your mind. Your mind in God, the good or the bad. Is inside your mind. Amen. 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 This piece of going to the barber shop, going to the pawn shop to buy a gun. The gun ain't on this mind. Your place is. But now, if he got this in his mind, and God is omnipresent, omniscient, and omnipotent. If God got all power, if he can understand all things, if he's all present everywhere, he saw that man buy that gun, he knew how come he bought that gun. Now you can have an all, all, an all arsenal of guns. You can't shoot down God. Jesus was teaching in the temple one day and they came to get him. He just disappeared. Walked right through him. Listen, his church followed him. You, you need to get this, man. This is good stuff. How they gonna follow him if they can't see him? Just like you can't hide from him, he will not hide from you. He made himself invisible to the one that was going to kill him. Invisible to those that's going to love him and follow him. It's just like that. Come on here. It's just like that now. 
if we had any kind of sense that could get into the depth of the awesomeness of God, we'd have to get on up out here. God, is, I'm going to tell you what you don't know. God is a good God. Are you listening to me? God is a and I'm going to get deep and get in the word. I'm in the word because the word is in me. Our subject is the love of God. God is love. So the subject could be the love of love or the God of God. I'm going to go to the pawn shop and buy 35 or 40 handkerchiefs, you know, so y'all can fool me that you're wiping your eyes. I can't teach this word. But see, without Christ, but you see, I can't tell you all what I'm knowing. I don't got no way to tell it to you, and you ain't got no way to receive it. But you know God is a good mosette. You heard Kayaha. You you know God good, don't you? Don't you? Now now one these day by and by when the morning comes. When we stand faith. Did you know when you're standing face to face with Jesus, you've been raptured? Hmm? You're going to hear a voice. He ain't going to say it but once. Come up here. Lord, help. Don't but move. I'll walk on top of your ponytail. I'm just, I'm just that anxious to be with God. How come? It's better there than here. But we got an assignment. We got an assignment in a mean old world. Now listen to me now. Listen to me now and learn. We planned the ministry last week. And we wrote it on paper. And we were trying to implement it. And the devil, listen to me, attacked the paper. Are oh, you listening to me? Amen. Now let me tell you something. This paper is not a preacher. Amen. Now devil got to think twice or 300,000 times before he attack one of us. But what you plan to do, he'll come against you. Yes, he will. And if you're not prayed up, you're like a fool. Amen. I say you're like a fool. Uh-huh. Start canceling stuff. Why didn't he come to me first? Why didn't he do this first? Shut up. Ain't you never heard the song, Up from the Grave He Arose? That's the only place that I'm subject to that word that came up that day. Why, what's his name? Why, what's his name? And, and if I don't do what you think want to be done, go get you a church. Listen to me, saints of God. Look at, look at me. That's normal for me to breathe. It's normal for the devil to come against the saints. It's normal. Otherwise, he wouldn't be a devil. He'd be the Holy Ghost. Now, what you going to have to do to get up out of that battle? Get up out of here. He battles here. He lost the battle there. Now, God is so good. Listen to me. Hey, my heart. He won't give the devil a second chance. Y'all listen to me? Because the devil only have one choice. Once he chose to be a demon, he cannot repent. Say amen, somebody. So he want to come against every soul that can repent. He's the enemy of God's church. He's your enemy. He's my enemy. But I heard God say, fear not. I have overcome him. Then why do we let him use us? What's the matter? What's the matter? When you're angry, 
dictate your action. Listen to me. You have backslidden. I won't take it back. God love a joyful spirit. Whenever you come as to point that finger, you just point it yourself to hell. Say amen, somebody. I, I think we need to repent. Just let's make like somebody raise hell they ain't here, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to repent for them. Put your hand up. I know you've saved God the Holy Ghost. Put both of them up. Don't be putting one of your hand. Say, Lord, Lord if I've sinned, I repent. I repent. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Save me. Save me. Fill, me Fill me with the real Holy Ghost. Real Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Do you know what I just said? Make your calling what? An election what? Make sure you're right. Are you listening to me? Say it with me. Make sure you're right. Hey! Make, make sure. Now you're talking about being deep. If you don't listen to this simple teaching, you don't know what deep is yet. Put your hand now, everybody up in here. Come on. Lord, Lord if, I you, if I offend you, I am godly sorry. Am godly sorry. Lord, Lord please, please forgive me. Forgive Make, sure Make sure I don't miss heaven. I don't miss heaven. Make, sure Make sure I don't miss heaven. I don't miss heaven. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank you Father. Thank you. Amen. Amen. That should be the number one priority on our prayer list. Lord, don't let me miss heaven. Lord, have mercy. Everything the devil got in his arsenal, arsenal is designed to detour you and make you think you're right when God know you're wrong. So the devil is the author of what? Confusion. Is people not been confused so much by that devil? They say, when you're dead, you're done. Yeah, when you're cooking, you get done. That ain't what they imply. They imply when your body dies, that's all of it. Lord, have mercy. Where's heaven? Where's hell? Where does the devil live? What does the devil teach? What is the purpose of this teaching? What does Jesus teach that's in contrary to what the devil teach? We need to have the good answers for those things. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, I came. He did say it. I came. Hey, uh, that they might have life and that they might have that life more abundantly. What does that mean? I came that they might have salvation. And when they come to heaven, the benefit of salvation more abundantly. You, you ain't got no place to put, that's why you shout. You're trying to figure out abundant stuff. Ain't no place in you for that. Sometimes I cry, oh, oh, God said, what's the matter? I said, oh, no. I come as to missing what I know is there and I cannot receive here. You got no place to put it. You think on the one that gave you this abundance, see? And your eyes come as to leaking. You got no way, you got no way to say it. And you ain't got nobody to say it to that can understand it. We are mystery children. But what we're looking for is not a mystery. It's real. It's real. And sometimes I can feel it welling up in my soul right here on earth. But I'm going to confess to you, see, I can only feel real heaven 
when real hell is coming against me. Then I can feel heaven in my soul. Glory to God. All hell breaking loose, and I'm praising God. Not for the hell, the hell that can't get me. Come on here, act like you know what I'm talking about. Huh? Church note do. I lacked 30 cents of having a quarter last week. My son said, here's a thousand dollars. God said, you know you hid eleven hundred dollars. I said, Lord, I don't know where it's at. <laughs> I don't know right where it's at. He said, Where do you think your wife won't look? I hid it for my wife, and I couldn't find it for myself. Do unto others what? Now you better watch yourself. She is me. Hey, my mother almost said, hey, I just said. And they called me from the bank. This building costs $200,000. We got it down to 31000 They want it now. Well, Mr. Wheeler. I see your record here, so we can't really legally give you more time. I said, will you give me till tomorrow? I like 30 cents to have a quarter. I just believe God comes to because he said it. When you get in a tight, God ain't broke. Amen. Come on here. I done got old and smart, and I done forgot that God is in my business, because my business is God. I get too smart and forget that. Then I be praying. God said, what you praying for? Didn't I tell you I supply all of your needs? He called me. I said, yeah, Lord, but help me here. See, 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 we, we don't have to get tied up and tangled up in sin. We can tie, get tied up and tangled up in business, in children, in their education, in their finances. In my, you, you can get tied. Fact is, though, when you got your mind on that, Lord have mercy, you don't have your mind on Jesus. That's when the devil attack. You ain't lost. You just weak. And whenever Jesus, Lord, have mercy on your soul. It's not in the center of your everything. You're weak. You're saved. You're sanctified. But you need Jesus in the center of your everything. Are you listening to me? You got to have it. That's a whole lot, you know, good singing and good saxophone playing and good piano playing and stuff. Uh, you can't put that in there. Jesus, Lord, I thank you for this. Jesus reserved the sin of your heart for God. Amen. That place belonged. Yes. Hey, that place belonged to God. So you can hear this person wrote that song. If we ever need the Lord before, we sure do need him. Now, he allowed God to move away from the center of his heart. That's where that song comes from. It didn't have to come from a sinner. But one that neglected to let God occupy his place in his heart. No, no, nobody, 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 nobody can take. Jesus had to do it, but he had to die to do it. Jesus had to go through death to be called the Messiah. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. I ain't teaching a whole bunch, but I, I taught you enough we can conclude, you know, God is a good God. God, God is a good God. I said, God is a good God. Put your hands up. Come on, help me out. 
My God is a good God. And that my soul know right well. Glory. What we need to do, and I'm going to start doing it as a, as a pastor with five doctor degrees, I'm going to start going into those degrees and pulling out some good stuff. Because I earned those degrees studying. You know God sure is a good God. I knew that before I got my first little degree. So your degree don't add nothing to God. Say amen, somebody. It's the time you spent Studying the word of God. That's why you got your education from, not your piece of paper. It can burn up just like your soul if you don't have Jimmy Como's. So I'm going to call you You better get Jesus in your heart. You better get him in your heart. Now mind being deep. Como city me. Homo city. Homo city. Our subject is. The love of God. Jesus is the love of God. Because God is what? Love. Now the Christ part of Jesus is God. The Jesus part of Christ is our door to come into God. You don't come into God through Christ Christ is a spirit. You have to come through the blood to get to Jesus. Did you, did you know as free as heaven was before Adam sinned, it would never be that free again. When you get to heaven, that song lied, you ain't going to walk all over God's heaven. There's total discipline set in God's house. Are you listening to me? And the devil tried to work against that discipline here last Tuesday. And some of y'all got excited. Didn't bother me none. Been there before. All that says is, I hate you. You've got the love of God. The devil can't stand me. He can't come close to you. He have to send you a message. Hey, over there, hey! Raise a little hell over there. Hey, you, hey! All you got to do is don't pay no attention to him. Now, you listen to me. If he pay attention to him, he got your attention. Now he can talk to you. Take your point finger and point down like this. <clears throat> See after me. Satan, Satan go, to hell go to hell in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Back off of me. Hey, I'm mock on you. Hey, I'm on my. Hey, I'm to ha. He know if he can come close enough, he can influence your emotions. I wish y'all just put on me when I have these little visions, you know. Here is your emotion. Out here. This is you. Your emotion got you surrounded. So the devil live in your emotion. So it seemed like he got you surrounded. Put your hands in there. Come on here. Satan! Back off of me. Do it, now. Do it now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go, to Go to hell. Hey, I'm on come on. Set to her. Hey, I'm on the hell. See, see, see. I, I know y'all been saved a minute. I, I, I'm going to say something. Now, don't, don't get mad with me. I can go where you can't go. Hey, um, uh, If I ain't never been there, how am I going to lead you there? Now, let me tell you what happened to me 
before I get in the presence of God. I always get damned. And I've come to understand, oh, that's the door. Yes, sir. Because when you're damned, he come up close, close. See the singer, the, the writer that sang that song, he, 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 he sung a lot. I'm so close. Look, 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 I can almost. No, sir. You, you jump off a mountain to another mountain and miss it by a centimeter, you almost made it. There ain't no almost. We ain't playing no horseshoes in here. No, you listen to me. Listen to me. This should be our testimony. 724, I know that my Redeemer lives. Glory to God. I know that my Redeemer lives in spite of all hell. You, you, you ain't in heaven yet. The devil got a right to lose his spirit on earth. So we have to get up out of earth into the Savior. He can't raise no hell in Jesus. Jesus defeated the power of hell. Amen. Did you know the devil is loose? Jesus turned him loose. But you know what Jesus did for us before he loosed that devil? He gave us the Holomokoma city. Hey, can I name it? He gave us the Holy Ghost. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, the devil is a fool, but he ain't stupid. Look what the scriptures say. He's walking to and fro, seeking. Whom he made a vow. Now, if he can devour that one, that one was saved. But he didn't have the power of the Holy Ghost. No devil in hell wants to stand face to face with the Holy Ghost. No, sir. No, sir. How come? Lord, hell. Who do you think beat the hell out of them down in hell? Satan tried to run when God get on your case. Ain't no prayer. The only thing you do is surrender. Somebody wrote a song. I surrender all. Yes, sir. I surrender all. All to Jesus. I surrender. I surrender all. Now, now, now Jesus won't take 99 and a quarter. Well, even the word said, 99 won't do. I just had a vision, and you know, this little saint trying, here's the hand of God, you know, and this little sinner trying to climb up in there, and I saw Jesus to, took him. Put, did you know that's his job, to put you in the hand of God? Nobody can pluck you out. I didn't say you couldn't jump out, but nobody. Once you, you. Are you listening to me? God is a, he is. I don't know what the school's going to think of this when I send it somewhere, but they better get a hold of this. What I've been teaching for 55 minutes is a song. If we ever needed the Lord before, we sure do need him now. We sure do need him now. Oh yeah, we sure do need him now. If we ever needed the Lord before, we sure do need him now. We need him every day and every hour. That's a saint singing. Sinners can sing that. Because they got the word need. That song covers the soul of man. Before he gets saved, he need the Lord to save him. 
once you get saved, you need the Lord to seal you. You just need God. Hey, you need God. Now, now you see, I stood back the other day when my children was upset. I know that I know that I know. Ain't no devil in hell can make you sin. Are y'all listening to me? Now the only now y'all listen to me now and go home and forgive me. <clears throat> the only reason you can get upset about something is that you believe part of that something belonged to you. And I say amen to that. Uh-huh. 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 But God said it belonged. He did say it. He said, cows on a thousand hills belong to me. If I want to slaughter one, I wouldn't get permission from you because it ain't your cow. Uh -huh. The other day, I heard, you know, the, the bellowing of a little cat. Man, he stepped on my foot. Shut up and get slaves. I just had a vision of you and a vision of me. This is you. And Tuesday night I had you. <laughs> Glory! <laughs> you ran. I got you. How come? I'm here to keep you safe. Come on here. In a better picture of it, this is you. This is me, and this is Jesus. Have you ever seen a picture of Jesus reaching down over to a mountain to get a sheep? He had a hold of something. You, something got a hold on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! And he says, I went to some uh, place the other day, and I know my soul wasn't right, but something got a hold <laughs> Oh, I'm a teacher, but I need to tell you what I see. It don't bother me none. You, you know, I had a bunch of children. I tore that tail up. Right now, the oldest one is 50. The second one is 40. God took the one 30 home, I got another youngster. When people don't want to live right, they don't want to be with you. How come? Your life is like holding their hand to the fire. You, they, <laughs> they ain't running from you. They running from God. Well, wherever they go, he's going to be that way. No, no. Because God is omnipresent everywhere. And you can't run. You can't run. I want to let you know. I got, let me see. These are double bifocals. These are four eyes. And I got two here. I see you with six eyes and my heart. Before I left home Tuesday, I saw you. Lip hanging down here like a blouse open. I said, Lord, yep. I see you. I couldn't be a pastor if God didn't let me see the sheep. Okay. Amen. Yeah. You ain't lost. Well, well, I hope you ain't. Amen. I know what the answer to this song is. Can you see what I see? No, you can't. Or you wouldn't need me. My job is to see the wolf before he come. Amen. Bind him before he get to you. Amen. Your job, when you got a problem, come to me. Yes. You went to one another and got wounded. 
Yeah, but one person said, Amen. I'm the shepherd. I got the staff. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm supposed to act like Jesus. Didn't you hear Jesus say, Come unto me, all you that what? Let, come to God. You come to me, I'll tell you. You know God show sure is a, hey, fill in that blank. God show sure is a good God. That's all I need to tell you, and you'll be back on track, ready to run again. Can't stay off track too long, the devil gets you. He'll use your wound as a target. If he feed that wound, you will backslide. Before you backslide, you start pointing the finger. I know you on your way there. I said, Lord, in the name of Jehovah, he said, I heard you. I I'll take care of it. <laughs> Look how happy you are now. Come on. I I I don't get mad with me. Now, you know babies. You know how little babies are when things don't go that way. You just kicked out that leg. Well, I ain't no baby. God said, tell him you're here for the length of the course. I ain't going nowhere and you neither. The shepherd is the one with the rod and the staff. He is the one that fight the wolf. You don't fight the wolf. When the wolf come, you run to the shepherd. The shepherd look to God. Lord, help us. Are you? Because the little sheep, they come and just singing. If I ever need the Lord, I shall do it, man. But I need him every hour. Shut up, little sheep. <laughs> if I teach you right, you'll be like the sheep to the shepherd. When the sheep see trouble coming, they run to the shepherd. And they don't run over one another. Are you listening to me? Hey, uh -huh. And when you get here, I'll open the book. God said we got victory over death, hell, Satan, sin, and the grave. I'll tell you what God said. That's your victory. Come on here. We need to be reminded. I tell myself, James, you got power. And I say, what am I going to do with that power? I said, beat that devil off of somebody else. Now you listen to me. The devil is not afraid of power. He got power. The scripture said, at the name of Jesus, every demon flee. So if you want victory, you ain't got to pray. Just one word. What, what is that one word? So say, say it out loud. Say Jesus. Jesus. There's your victory. Hey, uh -huh. there's your, I, I know. I, I, you, see, you can't, in, you can't enjoy your victory in your gas tank. Amen. Somebody can steal your car. Can't nobody, I'm going to say by me, steal my Jesus. I didn't say that for you. I said, a sinner can steal. Can steal. Can steal my car. But can't nobody steal me away from Jesus. Now, the devil got a thousand little tricks. I know every single one because I used to work for him. So when he come to me, I tell him, that won't work. I, I used to do that for you. And I just 
heard, if I ever needed the Lama Hosataha, the law before, I sure need him now. That ain't no sinner. That's a saint. Getting saved magnifies our need for God. Because the same God that saved you, he got to keep you. And when God saved you, the devil pick up his pace against you. Let me show you how to deal with him. Do like, go like this. Pay attention to me now. Everybody here, do like this. You got your hand like this? Say, Satan! Satan! Back off of me! Back off me! And now he just came closer. What's the rest of it? He, he, he got to go. He got to go. That's the only name the devil will recognize. He don't care nothing about James Wheeler. But I got who hide and bless. Glory to God. Come on up, honey, and tell me what you want to tell me. You, if you're my producer. Fix your mic. I got my mic fixed. It done slipped off of me. She's my helper, you see. I said, she's my, we, you, we are one another's helpers. And I, I'm praying for her because she can't take care of this business here and read her Bible like she would all and to do it. But she taking notes so when she get home, she can get into it. Everybody got a job to do. Because there's somebody out there in this world need to get that DDD. Need to see us working together for two purposes. Give God glory and reach for the soul of man. Do what? Give God glory. Reach for the soul of man. Come on here. Come on here. Now, 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 now. We, we, we are, ain't nobody in every family say. But we're not to limit ourselves to our own kinfolk. The whole world is lost. Amen. I said the whole world is lost. So we ain't got to go to Japan, Africa. Just go next door. Now you can't drink with them on Saturday night then witness to them on Sunday morning. You can't be a hypocrite. We are under a commandment. Come out from among them. Be ye separate, said the Lord. Now, anytime you're among someone that is not among the church, you're supposed to have your light on. Now, the darker the situation is, the brighter. I don't care if you ain't got nothing but a little teenchy winchy light. The darker it is, the brighter you shine if you say. Nobody can put your light out. And you don't have to say a word. Your voice is not the oil to your lamp. The Holy Ghost is like it has oil. You are just as much a preacher when you are asleep as you are when you are awake. And if you read this book enough, long enough, sizzled enough, you will preach while you are asleep. I have wakened myself up preaching. Amen. How come? I went to sleep with God on my word. Hey! You, you, are y'all out there? Amen. Are y'all out there? Amen. You see, that song that sound good, but they really cop out. If I ever Needed the Lord before. I sure do need him now. What's that first word? If. Deborah wrote that song. 
Sound good, don't it? I've shot it on it. I shot it on it again because I know who wrote it. If I ever needed the Lord before, I sure need him now. That's a backslidden song. But if you've got enough Holy Ghost, you can enjoy it. But it's my job to tell you, God didn't write that song. I need him every day and every hour. No, we got him every day and every hour. So I know that song is a sinner's song. Been singing it all your life. That's why you're here. I suppose to shine I my yo moko. I suppose to shine it like I suppose. Come on, brother Mike. I suppose to shine I like so light on it. You know, I used to have five teachers up here. Now, now I only got two. Now let's see now. Three from five equal. Two. What happened to the other trio? If you're not fully committed, they ain't sinners. <clears throat> but if you're not completely committed, the devil will give you a test. You got a cold. You got the flu. The Lord understand. You got a headache. You got the babysit. Look at all these beds here. Bring that baby, lay him down on the seat. He can hear more gospel sleep than you can while you're awake. I'm going to get to the subject now so they can think I'm intelligent. Ah, oh, what's up, chick is? The love of God. Turn to 1 John 4, bro, Mike. <coughs> and, and, and read a little taste for us. 1 John 4. Our subject is the love of God. 1 John 4. 1 John 4. Amen. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. Ye are of God, little children, and over, have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us, and he that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved, let us not love, let us, beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And every one that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. For he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. In this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. Here in his love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. Hereby know we that we dwell in him, and he in us, because he had given us of his spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him, and he in God. And we have known and believed the love that God had to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear had torment. 
He that feareth is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. If a man say, I love God, and hate, hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he had seen, how can he love God whom he had not seen? And this commandment have we received from him, that he who loveth God loveth his brother also. Amen. Amen. You see that 21st verse? That's a contract. This is his commandment. And his commandment have we from him. This is a commandment he makes himself here. That he who love God, love his brother also. That's a commandment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For God is what? Love. Love. Look at the beginning of that now. First John 4 and 1. That first word, take the B-E off of it. See there? He's talking to the church. He called it love it. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit whether they be of God, because many false prophets are already gone out into the world. We were talking before we started teaching in now. People teaching crazy stuff, mm -hmm. but they're frustrated. Mm -hmm. Second verse in 1 John 4. Whereby know we that the Spirit of God, whereby know ye the Spirit of God, every spirit that confess that the Lord Jesus is come, is born of God. He didn't say every spirit that confessed that God is coming back. First, you got to believe that he's been here. And you got to believe there ain't no place he can't be. So he came here, left himself here, and went back to heaven. Now, that's the kind of God you serve. <laughs> Verse in 1 John 4. Every spirit that confess not that Jesus is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of an antichrist whereof you have heard that it should come and even now already it is in the world. An antichrist spirit. Somebody that teach the existence, the non-existence of Christ. If you got to teach that he ain't Ain't you saying that he is? Because you ain't going to teach what ain't. So all we got to do use our little penny weeny brain with our love in it. Fourth verse in 1 John 4. You are of God. Little children. Now read that backward. Little children, you are of God. God, there ain't no big folks in God. Amen. Amen. So next time you get ready to spell bishop with a big B, you need to get saved. Mm. Ain't no place in, listen to me now, there ain't no place in God for no human person. Are y'all listening to me? Mm -hmm. God is a spirit. Come on, son. Mm -hmm. God! Is a spirit. And those that worship him must worship him. In what? Spirit. spirit. You, you better get this right. Mm -hmm. There ain't no place in God for no flesh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There's no place for no lie. Either. No, sir. No place for no lie. No place in God for the flesh. No place in the flesh. For God. There are two different entities. Enemies. Even when you get saved, you got a physical heart. That ain't the heart Jesus lives in. He don't want to be in there. He's the one that lives in your spiritual heart, that keep your natural heart pumping, to keep your natural body alive. He is your life. Yes. 
He is your life. Woke up day before yesterday morning. His arm had pins sticking in it. It was almost dead. Do you know what I did? I looked up. Look at it now. That devil always was trying to attack us. But I just heard God tell us what to say. Satan, back off. To do like me, put your hand like this. Come on here. Say with me, Satan, Satan. Back, off. back off now, now. In, the name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got to learn to talk about, talk to Jesus about what that devil is trying to do to our bodies. When you talk to Jesus, about what the devil is trying to do to your body is called a rebuke. He got to back off. As a matter of fact, we've been together so many now. When I lift my hand, the devil start backing up. He know I'm finna tell Jesus on him. <laughs> I tell Jesus on him. How come? You can't deal with him by yourself. Now listen to me. The Holy Ghost was not given to you to fight the devil with. What God said is the enemy against that devil. Mm. What you tell that devil, Satan, back off of me in the name, what? Of Je it's the authority in the name. Because we really ain't smart enough to see all of this word, what this word can do. Mm. So we have to use the word to make us think about the one that can get it done. Amen. Jesus. He's a friend. He's a friend that where he stick. He stick. He stick close. Now, now, if you stuck, you twin with Jesus. So I, when the devil, he see four of us. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, and little Jimmy hanging on. We are quoted. Amen. L O V E. God the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, and O Jimmy, holy no. I can sing that some. I'm just holding on. Hmm? But somebody's holding on to me while I'm trying to hold on them because I can get tired and fall. Mm. But you can't fall if you're holding on from the inside. Mm. Are y'all? Mm -hmm. You got something to say, man? Uh, when you were talking, I mean... See, I saying, heard him wanting to say so. I, well, I just, you know, <laughs> I, seen, I seen you saying you're holding on, but earlier said if you're in God's hands. And you're in God's hands. That's uh, you're not holding on. You're no, in God's sir. hands. That's right. And you're just, you're, you're, you're just kind of chilling out. <laughs> See, what you're doing, you're holding on to faith that got you in there. Yes. And once you get in there... You don't turn the thing loose that got you in there. Mm. You don't burn the bridge that brought you over. Right. Faith, faith, you, we, we, good God Almighty. Amen. You see, we're teachers. We don't play off of one another because this is not a radio program. Mm. We feed, increase, improve, shine light onto what the other ones say. Amen. Amen. We need one another. Amen. Come on here. Come on here. Come on here. No man is an island. Hey, my car, my satire. Because the island is surrounded with water, and that ain't the Holy Ghost. It washed that island away. Amen. So our subject is the love of there ain't no other subject. Amen. Amen. So my brother Bruce said, why don't you change the subject? I said, to what? <laughs> she said, come to think of it. That is right, ain't it? Yeah. Our subject is, Jay, 
E S. Look. Us. Jess. Us. Hey, I'm going to go to the end of here. Hey, I'm going to go to the end of here. But, but we can't make a broad statement about that when it comes to the world because God so loved the world he gave this Jesus person. But when it comes to us, what we got now, we got it all just because of Je- Jesus is our everything. You know, you, you, we not to re- got to realize we ain't too smart. Jesus is more to us than we know. Mm. And we get in trouble when we think we know too much till we come to our senses and put our little hands in there and say, Lord, what? Help me. You, you, he ain't going to do nothing before you say that. Amen. Amen. As long as you trust in self, God is not going to help you. Mm. Amen. Amen. Self don't got no help for you. Self is dying. Mm. So when you get good and saved, you crucify self. So why are you going to go to a dead thing Mm. looking for life? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when things go bad, how come you think God don't love you? Did you know it ain't God's job to make everything go right? God's job is to make us stand upright and go right. We are heaven's job, not the earth. Jesus came to get us up. God can't afford to allow us to be too comfortable on this earth. Then you will lose the vision and desire of heaven. Earth is going to fade. away. Mm-hmm. All this week the devil been telling me you ain't going to be here long. Mm-hmm. Now he don't know he's cutting his own throat. Mm-hmm. He telling me I'm getting ready to go to heaven because I sure ain't going to hell. Mm-hmm. So the devil is stupid. He's stupid. The devil think he can raise all the hell down here and hide himself in God's church and follow us into the kingdom. No, sir. No, sir. When, look, you need to get this now. On, on, when it comes to spirits and demons, when God kicked the devils out, mm-hmm. he shut the door from the inside. But faith gives us a key mm-hmm. to unlock the door from the what? Outside, you, he reserved heaven for the saints. Amen. 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 It never did belong to spirits. Mm-hmm. Demons are spirits. Mm-hmm. Satan was a holy spirit, not the Holy Ghost, a holy spirit. He wanted to be so much like God till he changed himself into flesh. Mm. Mm. Now, don't measure God to my how long can Satan raise hell and stay in heaven. That ain't your business. Mm. Something is just plain old too big for us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And when we get to heaven, I'm going to be so happy. I ain't going to ask God all that old silly stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. After I've been there four or five million years, I'm going to ask him, you see my mama? Mm-hmm. But I'm going to enjoy God first. Mm. I I know, I I know, but I need to just get you a little understanding. In heaven, that's God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, Mm -hmm. and the church. Mm -hmm. J-E-S, just us. When he talking about leading you out and have pastor, you ain't going to get hungry up there, so what does that mean? Hmm? Don't the scriptures say when we get to heaven, we're going to look just like Jesus? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
So it's so much Jesus in one of us till heaven ain't big enough to contain us. So the scriptures say he's going to lead us out and we're going to have pastor. Heaven ain't big enough. Heaven is just a landing place for the church. Now, if you look through the Holy Ghost and try to number the souls, you can't number the souls. That's too much. It'll blow your little peeny weeny mind. But when you get up there, you ain't going to have your mind. You're going to have the mind of Christ. So when you get to heaven, the only thing you want to do is please Jesus. Now, now we got to heaven inside Jesus. When we get to Jesus, we ain't going to step out of Jesus. We're just going to be in and out of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, deal with that. Mm -hmm. Where is Jesus? Everywhere. Amen. He in this room. He in this room right now. Mm -hmm. Now, 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 he can only be one place after the rapture. Not in heaven. Heaven ain't big enough. Because there was a God and there was a Jesus and there was a Holy Ghost before there was a heaven. God created the heaven. Mm -hmm. He didn't make nothing bigger than him. Are mm. oh, y'all listen to me? Amen. You can physically measure heaven if you go to Revelation. And you go to Revelation 7. Let's go to Revelation 7 and let's see how, how big heaven got to be. I'm going to show you something, Tubbo. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let Brother Mike read Revelation 7 till your heart get happy. Amen. Revelation 7, starting at the first verse. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the winds should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And, another, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Of the tribe of Judah sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed twelve thousand. Mm -hmm. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Asher were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Nephilim were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manassas were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Zebulun were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000. After this, I beheld, and lo, a great multitude which no man could number, of all the nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes oh, and palms in their hands, yes. and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell upon the throne and fell before the throne on their faces and worshiped God, yes. saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom <laughs> and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto the God of a, forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence come they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said unto me, These were they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in the temple. And he, 
that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them nor any heat. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them unto fount, uh, living fountains of water. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Amen. Amen. Come on. Now look what you see in Revelation 7, 17. That's tears. Mm. You see, that's something you're thinking about ain't right. Mm -hmm. Now look. Read that 17th verse again, Brother Mike. For the Lamb, which is in the midst of the throne, shall feed them, mm -hmm. and shall lead them into living fountains of waters. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Oh. <laughs> are are y'all listening to them? Amen. What are they doing? Crying. How come they cry? They're remembering some loved one that was lost. And God going to wipe that memory away yes, that's right. so the tear going to dry up. Where is that? In heaven. So you're going to go to heaven aware of things that were not right on earth. In, in sundry time in diverse matters, God going to take that memory away. Amen. Then it's going to really be glory, glory, glory. He going to Dememorize your brain because you ain't going to have no fleshly brain up there, mm -mm. but you're going to have a memory. He's going to delete your memory of your yesterday because so much is going on in your present, you don't have no room for your yesterday. Mm. Come on here. Amen. Now, this is where that sun going to come to be real. Free at last. See that at last thing? Free at last. What, what? Thank God about it. He going to take, he going he to delete your memory bank of your yesterday. Because this time where you live yesterday is on fire. And you can't think about your lost daughter being burning and be happy. Mm. So he, if she don't get saved, God going to take your mind off of her and put it directly on him. Mm. God Almighty, you better get it right now. Amen. You better. You, and we ain't going to have no kind of memory of anything on earth because there ain't going to be no earth. Mm. Now listen to me. Didn't God create the heavens? Mm -hmm. When God deliver his church, the only thing going to be in existence is God's church and a little small heaven. Heaven is not just a place. It holds the beauty of the generosity of God. Like you don't have to have a whole lot of sugar to know how sugar takes one grain of Sugar let you know. Sugar is sweet. Well, heaven is just a little sweet place. Stretch it now and think about it. Because the heaven and earth is going to be on fire. The only thing going to exist after the rapture is the one that came down to get you and wrapped you. That's Jesus and the church, the Father and the Holy Spirit. God the Father, God the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the body of the church. It fills the whole universe. There will be no way of measuring nothing because we're too big to be measured. Amen. We're just like God. Mm -hmm. 
He's the only one that can fill the universe. Huh? Amen. You, sometime now, when, when I pray and I pray real good, look like something in me so big it got to come out. So come on. Ah! Now that ain't, I just ain't got no other way to say it. But there, we're going to see one another. Howdy. 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 World's away. We're right next to you. We, we don't know about this stuff. Heaven ain't no big place. It's a good place that occupies a space in an immeasurable place. Mm. God is on deeper turn. Well, we'll be as big as God. Even here, we are his body. Not this. So how big is God? You got no place to measure, nothing to measure it with. Somebody wrote a song. God is good and that my soul. <laughs> See, your soul know a whole bunch of about Jesus than your mind do. God don't mess around with your mind. Your mind is limited. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. So we were in Revelation 7, and our subject is the love of God. Can I read scripture? Yes, sir. Uh, you're just talking about heaven and earth passing. 2 Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, mm -hmm. and the elements shall melt with a fervent heat. The earth also and the works therein shall be burned up. Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens, being on fire, shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, According to his promise, look for a new heaven and a new earth, mm -hmm. wherein dwelleth righteousness. Mm -hmm. Therefore, beloved, seeing all, seeing that ye look for such things, being diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless. Mm -hmm. And the, the kingdom of God is within us. Mm -hmm. That's something we need to firmly grasp. Mm -hmm. It's going to be in us in this life. If it's not in us in this life, it's not going to be in us in the next. No. One. You know, that's what, that's what this life is about. Yes. Getting the kingdom of God in us. And that's yes. righteousness, peace, and, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Yes. And, you know, once, once you get that peace, once you get that righteousness, once you get the joy of the Holy Ghost, I mean, you've got heaven. Everyone talks about heaven, heaven, heaven. Man, it's, it's in us. You know, I mean, people people are praying for, for you, know, you know, I hear all these Christian songs sing, Oh, Lord, where are you? Well, he's supposed to be in your heart. <laughs> you know what I mean? And if he's not in your heart, you better pray for deliverance. Yeah. Get to, get to know him as your personal Savior first. Yeah. And then, you know, once you have a personal relationship, mm -hmm. man, get, you know, when, when all the attributes are welling up inside you, man, the devil, he is not about nothing. No, sir. And whatever he can use as a tool against you, put no value on it, mm -hmm. and it, and it won't sting no more. Mm -hmm. You know, like if it's your car, every time you get a scratch, you go in the parking lot, there's another scratch. Oh, right. oh mm -hmm. I'm mad as can be. Yeah. Man, go, take a baseball bat after yes, this thing. Yeah. You know, it, it shouldn't it shouldn't hurt us. That's right. yeah. So, I mean, as long as, as long as we got God's attributes in our heart, we're, we're assured heaven because we're already there. We're there. We're already there. We're, we're already, there. we've already arrived. Yeah. You know, like the commercial says, I've already arrived or mm -hmm. we've arrived. Or, but it's about a Cadillac. Mm -hmm. You know, my Cadillac's in my heart. Yay. You know, my, my value is in my heart. Yay. My spiritual heart. Not Yay. the one that pumps blood, but the one that is risen with Christ and he's working over into his image. Yay. And... All these things, this earth, it's, I mean, we're not taking none of it with us. Right. So why are we worried about it, you know? Yeah. And the older I get, the more I realize, you know, I'm not even taking this stupid stuff with me. Right. No. And I'm going to go build another pole barn so I can put more stuff in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
and there and there's there's no value to it. And the you know, I just the the, the older I get, the more I, the more I want to be with Jesus. Yeah. That's right. See, see, our statement should be. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus right now. He'll save you. He'll save you right now. So we as preachers have to teach this thing in a perfect balance. We need this natural stuff. But we don't value this natural stuff more than the spiritual stuff that where are we going? We're just come coming through here. Right. We, we ain't supposed to set up house here. Right. Amen. I'm 77. I'm more conscious of this now. Yeah. Amen. Because I'm not going to live another 77 years. Yeah. Sometime in the close future, I'm going to have to go home. Mm -hmm. And I want to teach you enough so when I go home, you say, glory to God. I, I'll see you later, bro. Mm. You, you, hey. you ain't supposed to die at the, cry at the death of a preacher. Rejoice in the outgoing and then cry when they come in. Oh, Lord, he got his whole life to live in hell. We got it backwards. Now, I'm just going to tell you the truth. More tears are shed at a funeral than they in the hospital at the birth of a child. That's backwards. The poor child got to go through all this hell to get back to heaven. And there ain't nothing on earth to help us to get back to heaven except the one that created us, the Lord Jesus. He is our heavenly transportation. Without him, you ain't going nowhere but to heaven. You know, that's a place in the hell for young folk, too, you know. I, I, I buried a, a little body here three months old a couple of weeks ago. Three months old. He didn't know nothing about nothing. When he left, the doors of heaven never shut. They was expecting her to come back. And in three days, she made a round trip. She came here and didn't like it and turned it loose. I've been here for 77 years and still trying to learn how to fall out of love with it. I know y'all don't care nothing about nothing, you know. I bought my brand new Lincoln. I parked it right outside in front of my house on the street so folk can see what I got. And God rebuked too tough. Jesus said, James, where you got me parked? Hey! Where you got me parked? Okay. In the back behind the house. Be careful. Be careful of the eyes what you see. Be careful of the eyes what you see. Because the sun's a song, the sun's a song. Be careful of the eyes, what you see. We don't have no problem with that. But we sing that other part. Be careful of the hand, what you uh oh, oh, oh. Did you know that the gospel is real? Yes, it is. And we got to be as real as the gospel that would heal your ills, if you will. This revelation seven. And after these things, so you need to go back. After what things? Now you had to go back to Genesis 1. One, you ain't got time to read all that in one night. Keep reading in Genesis 7 and you're going to see it. After these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth. I thought the earth was round. Huh? Now the author of the book ain't confused. He can take heaven and put it there like that and he can see them corners. Mm. So we go to a sign book and say, heaven is round. Mm -hmm. How come it got four corners? Mm -hmm. If a thing got four corners, it's square, ain't it? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Or rectangle or something. Uh -huh. Standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, not on the sea, not on the tree. God is getting ready to take business and he wants the elements to be quiet. 
I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. What do you mean? Kill everything living. Saying, hurt not the earth, because that's where man living. So you don't want to get no uh, sea boat and live on the sea. Uh -huh. Hurt not the earth, not of the sea, not of the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their forehead. You're going to be sealed. Listen now. But before you are sealed, he know where you is. He knew who you is. So you don't need to seal, identify yourself to God. He putting the seal on you so the world will see who's leaving. Every eye shall see. He make you easy, more identifiable. And I heard the numbers of them which were sealed, the 12,000 for 12 different tribes, 144,000, and the ninth verse. After this, I beheld, I look, and I saw a great mother too, that's us, which no man could number. Look how unprejudiced God is. Of all nations and kindred and tongues and people stood before the throne. Now, if you ain't saved, you can't stand here. Sin is gone now. Mm -hmm. We in here. We in here. Huh? Mm -hmm. And before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hand, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our gods which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb. That's Jesus. That's Jesus. Yeah right before the throne that God is occupying. Who is with him? We are. Amen. He is the lamb that had led us to the throne that God is occupying. You cannot approach that throne without that lamb. Amen. Instant death. That is, since Genesis 2, you cannot approach God without Jesus. Instant death. If we ever what, needed the law before, we sure do. <laughs> yeah. Huh? It's real. Yeah. That's some song that's real. We need him every day and every hour. Look at the time element. If we ever needed the Lord in the past, we sure need him. It's time to rapture. And if you are not identified, you're going to get me como ha, me como sata ha. Because he got a mark on your forehead, and then your heart can cry out. Lord, don't leave. Don't leave me down here. You, you know you don't have to say that. He can hear it. See, sometimes we get so educated, we, 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 we cheat God out of his grossity. God can actually hear your thought before you think it. He can hear it. If he can hear your thought, where are you going to go, son of man? Where are you going to hide? The earth going to have to fall so you can't go in a hole. The moon going to be on fire. The sun going to be burning. There ain't going to be nothing left. God the Father. God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, and the church. Four. When we rapture, the first three and a half years of Daniel prophecy, mm -hmm. the world going to catch on fire that second three and a half years. Mm -hmm. They're going to be wailing and gritting their teeth. We ain't going to be here. We're going to be what we're supposed to be, but we're not loosed yet. Because when the world is on fire, somebody might cry out. And God got to leave us somewhere to wait on that one. 
Hey! But when that last soul cry out, <laughs> see, heaven ain't big enough for us. Jesus stand up in heaven, his head stick out the top, his arms stick out the side. He, God didn't make nothing bigger than his son. Heaven is just our landing pad. Huh? We, we going to get up. Huh? Talk to her, Brother Mike. We're going to get up out of here. In a minute. Amen. Amen. We're going to get up out of here. Well, I, was, I was just, I, um, I, I heard a song, and it was, said, uh, Lord, show me your glory. Mm -hmm. So I looked it up, and that's what Moses said. Mm -hmm. Lord, show me your glory. Yeah. And he showed it to him, too. Yeah. He put him on a rock. Yeah. And he cleft that rock. Yeah. Because he didn't, he, he said he could, no man can see my face and live. Yeah. Um, flesh, flesh just can't handle seeing God. No. You know, uh, that's why we got to get born again. Yeah. And um, his, ma his, 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 his magnitude is so much more than we can possibly comprehend right now. Yeah. And maybe even when we get to heaven, it will be more yeah. than we can comprehend. Yeah. That's okay, though, because he, he, he showed us his glory. And this is what I'm, my, um, my next teaching is going to be on. Uh, he showed us his glory. He came down in the form of his son. Yeah. And he showed us his glory. Yeah. That, that glory is Jesus. Yeah. And he, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's, he showed us an example of, of who he would have us to be. Yeah. And through his blood, he washed us. And then a risen Savior now, we ask for his spirit. He puts it in our heart. Yeah. And then we can live unto God through him. Yeah. And God said, I can get it done. Yeah. All you got to do is believe in this process. Yeah. Just believe in what I have done on the cross, and it is sufficient for your soul. Yeah. And you just got to sit back and go, okay. <laughs> yeah. Just just let go, let go yeah. and let God. It's yeah. there. Yeah. You know, we don't. You don't. You can't. You can't figure it out with your carnal mind. Right. It just doesn't. It's, it's. It even says that the carnal mind is enmity against yes, God. God. On the um, on the way home from work, and I was listening to. Uh, I was telling Pastor about this, and uh, some guy, uh, some scientist, he's he teaches evolution and all this other stuff. He teaches it right in churches, which I don't under, quite understand. He's trying to, but he's frustrated because so many percentage, so much percent of the world don't believe in his science. That's right. They believe in God instead, and he's really frustrated. And I was telling Pastor, I go, well, you know, he should be happy for us. You know, I mean, but they're not because they, they, they're in the flesh and that's where sin is. And the devil knows that he has but a short time. So he's 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 put he's prodding these people saying, get after him. Yeah. Get to work. Yeah. What is your problem here? You're my child. Yeah. Whereas God's calling us out of this flesh into his spirit. And and he, 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 he he's prodding us, too. Yeah. But he prides us with the, his Holy Spirit, yeah. which is a meek and mild spirit. Yeah. So meek sometimes, it will startle you. Yeah. You know, you're thinking, man, this is God? Yeah. He's so meek and mild. Yeah. He's so kind. I've never heard him swear. I've never, I mean, he, just, he doesn't get excited. No, sir. He's, he's calm, cool, and collected. Yes, sir. And um, it's just amazing, you know, um, that, 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 I mean, the God of, I mean, he's, he's milder than anyone I know on this earth anyway. <laughs> and I've, I've met some mild people. Yes. But God is so mild and meek. And the devil, you know, he, he's, he's so brutally, you know, angry right now yeah. at his children for not yeah. getting us reeled in. Yeah. And this is, I, I truly believe this is the age of faith. Me too. That's why so many people are sticking with God right now. But, and, 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 and I don't know how long the world will last, but there will come a time when it will all go to science. It will. It will. This is the it age will. of faith right now. Yeah. We want to grab a hold of Jesus yeah. right now. Yeah. Because God is stretching forth his hand and saying, come now. And if we don't come now, 
And, and well, not not only that, this is our only life. This, this is our only, only chance. Life. But I mean, this is the age of faith. I truly believe it. See, so somebody wrote a song. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to Jesus. I surrender. I surrender all. But this is what we are doing now. We're turning some things loose. We've already turned sin loose. Yeah. But there are some things that are worth more to us than other things. So God is going to teach us how to devalue all things and put him up front. Yeah. I am Pastor Dr. James L. Wheeler, and this has been Brother Mike Kernan, and we've been teaching a subject, Jesus, the love of God. You know Jesus is the love of God. You can't have God's love until you get a hold to God's Son. Mm. Jesus is the love of God. Now, and we own the television, and we own YouTube, and we own Acts the Pastor, and we all over the place. But we want to tell you now, if you want life, there's only one way you can get it. There's only one person you get it from, the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. God so loved the world that he gave his only father son that whosoever will believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The Lord Jesus is your everlasting life. So if you want to, don't want to die and go to hell, you better get inside and to eternity. Amen. Faith in Christ Jesus will give you life everlasting. It is as simple as that. You look in the mirror, you see yourself. You look in the Jesus, you see your sin. You confess your sin, look back in that mirror, and you will see Jesus. Mm. He is there in the beginning. He carry you when the end end. He become the eternal beginning for you. Mm. Jesus is Lord. Amen. I said Jesus Amen. is Lord. <laughs> Jesus is Lord. And for those that think I didn't teach deep enough tonight, you forgive me. I'm going to see if I can get shallower next week. Mm -hmm. I need to tell you that God loves you. Mm -hmm. He loves you just like you are. Too much to leave you that way. Mm -hmm. So why don't you call upon the name of the Lord while the breath's still warm in your vein. Bye. Mm -hmm. See ya. Mm -hmm.